Hey guys, I'm sure you all have heard about phrases like web development, full stack development, front end and back end development. But if you are not sure about what exactly they mean or how they're different, then don't worry. You're in the right place. This video on front end versus back end development will help you differentiate the two. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. Now let's jump right in and look at what's in store for us. So first, we'll look at what exactly web development is. Then, we'll look at the different types of web development. Going ahead, we'll look at what front-end development is and understand what exactly back-end development is. And lastly, we'll be comparing the two on the basis of languages, libraries and frameworks, skills, job roles and salary. So now let's begin by understanding what web development is. Web development is the process of creating a website on the internet. It refers to the non-design aspects of a website, such as creating features and functionality using programming, markup and scripting languages. Developers concentrate on the technical aspects of web development, such as architecture, programming, application integration and graphics. Now let's look at the different types of web development. Now web development could include the front end and the back end. Now together, they form something called as full stack development. Now I'm sure you're wondering what they actually mean. So let's go ahead and understand them. Let's begin by understanding what front end development is. Now front end development is the part of the website that codes and creates front end elements of a website, which are features that are directly viewable and accessible by the client. Now, essentially, a front-end developer is in charge of everything you see, be it styling, graphics, text, alignment, navigation, colors, etc. And he attempts and he attempts to improve the user experience to make it as seamless as possible. Now, these front-end developers also contribute to the overall design and aesthetic along with debugging. Responsiveness and performance are the two main objectives of front-end development. Then what exactly is back-end development? You guessed it right. Now web development that occurs at the back-end of programs is accurately termed as back-end development. Now this back-end development covers server-side web application logic and integration and activities like writing APIs, creating libraries and working with system components as opposed to front-end development which focuses on customer-facing services and programs. Now, backend developers create code that allows database and an application to communicate with each other. Essentially, a backend developer handles what you don't see. They are in charge of the backend of the website, which includes servers, databases, and applications. So, now that you have a brief understanding of what front end development is and backend development is, let's go ahead and compare the two. So, we'll be comparing the two based on five different features. That is languages, libraries and frameworks, skills, job roles and salaries. Now let's begin with languages. Now front-end development typically includes coding using languages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now as you all know, HTML is a markup language that is standardized system for tagging text files to achieve font, color, graphics and hyperlinks. Now CSS is used to format the layout of these web pages and JavaScript is used to create interactive elements on the web page. When it comes to backend, the languages include Python, C Hash, Java, Perl, PHP, Ruby, and some JavaScript. Now, Java in particular was built from ground up to run on the server side, so Java is extremely useful. Python is also one of the most popularly used languages, and C Sharp language is the preferred architecture for backend programming in Windows environments. Now, talking about libraries and frameworks, front-end libraries and frameworks include React.js, Angular, Vue, jQuery, and Bootstrap. While talking about back-end frameworks, we have Express.js, Node, Spring, Django, Flask, JSF, 
ASP.NET and .NET MVC. Now, front-end and back-end developers work very closely, so it's helpful to have a foundational understanding of front-end developer technologies like HTML and CSS as well. Moving on to skills. Now, front-end developers are in charge of bringing visual elements to a website as well as interactive elements such as navigation, buttons, and anything else that improves overall usability. HTML, JavaScript, and CSS are frequently used to ensure that a site's visual site operates well. So it's crucial to know these languages and a good understanding of JavaScript frameworks and libraries is also essential. And other general skills include a good grasp of front-end programming languages, the ability to create a responsive design, the knowledge of testing and debugging, and an understanding of front-end development tools like automation, content management, version control systems. Talking about the skills required for backend development, now, backend developers deal with backend languages and frameworks like Java, Ruby on Rails, etc. Now, backend developers deal with languages like Java, Ruby on Rails, etc. to make web pages and applications operate. Now, it's vital to know commonly used backend languages and frameworks like Django, Node.js, Express.js, and so on. Other important skills include database management, framework utilization, programming, knowledge of accessibility and security compliance, and understanding requirements and ensuring data consistency and integrity. Now moving ahead, let's look at some of the job roles for front-end and back-end development. Talking about front-end, we have the front-end developer, the CSS or HTML developer, we have front-end web designer, we have front-end SEO expert, full-stack developer, and a UI developer. Talking about back-end, there's back-end developer, Java developer, full stack developer, DevOps engineer, software engineer, and an iOS developer. And lastly, let's look at the salaries offered to these front end and back end developers. In India, the average salary of a front end developer is around 6 lakh rupees per annum, while a back end developer earns about 7 lakh rupees per annum. In the US, a front end developer earns around 100,000 US dollars per annum, while a back-end developer earns about 121,000 US dollars per annum. And so with that, we conclude this session on front-end versus back-end development. Now, if you have any doubts or queries regarding the same, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.